Tenants of an iconic apartment building on Jefferson were surprised to receive eviction notices amid the coronavirus outbreak. As of now, the governor's executive order states landlords cannot evict tenants during the stay-at-home order. But that expires tonight at midnight, but landlords still must wait 30 days after the restrictions are lifted. So about 80 tenants, many elderly, were shocked to get a letter from the landlord saying pay up or move out in seven days. 7 Action News reporter Saima Chowdhury shows us how they're handling it. Dozens of tenants at the Jeffersonian apartment building were facing eviction, but the attorney general stepped in, sending management a letter to make sure those folks were not thrown out in the cold during this pandemic. I got an eviction notice, you know, not too long ago for failure to pay rent. Pepe Haynes lives at the Jeffersonian apartment building in Detroit. He was surprised to get this letter from the landlord earlier this month, ordering him to pay rent or move out in a week. Pepe, like many others, has been hit financially due to the pandemic. I'm on Social Security, so I try to make ends meet, try to take care of my son. It was very upsetting to me. When Attorney General Dana Nessel got wind of the eviction notices, she sent a letter of her own, stopping the landlord from throwing out about 80 tenants, many who are senior citizens. For God's sake, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. I have no intention to other than notify the people that haven't paid their rent. The building's owner says they have to follow protocol, even if they have no plans to evict. I don't want a lender come and tell me what you didn't even make an effort. So even if he was not going to be able to make good on that threat, it's still a threat. The landlord questions the AG's involvement. There was a cheap shot taken by the attorney general's office to score some political points. This is my job. This is me doing my job. The governor's executive order states that landlords cannot evict during the stay-at-home order. The tenants tell us the landlord should be more worried about the conditions of the building rather than rent. We were sent photos of trash overflowing a dumpster and other pictures. They have not been keeping up with the building. The owner says their services are limited due to being short-staffed dealing with absolute necessities. As for the tenants behind on rent, the Jeffersonian's landlord says they will work with those tenants to avoid evictions after the orders are lifted. You expect your landlord to have your best interests at hand during a time like this. Simon Chowdhury, 7 Action News.